Hi, this is Beth McKinney for facepaint.com and today we're going to talk about color theory. In making color choices, it's helpful if you have a color wheel. And so I have my trusty color wheel here that I have from when I was in college. And um, you're going to notice one thing about it. It's got colors all the way around the outside, but they're in a very specific order. And you can use that order to help you make good choices when you're face painting. For example, you've probably heard of complementary colors. Complementary colors are right across from each other on the color wheel. And the thing about complementary colors is that they're very pleasing to the eye when they're used together. Not mixed together, but just used with each other in a composition, in a painting, in face painting. So the complementary colors that pairs that you should know about are blue and orange, red and green, and also purple or violet and yellow. So those are complementary colors, and when you use those, it's going to help a composition have more interest to the eye and look better to the eye. If you've seen certain artists that are your favorite artists, you may not even know why they're your favorites, but probably they're using complementary colors in some of the pieces that you're looking at. So something else that you can find on the color wheel are triads. Triads are three colors that make a triangle. So an example would be red, blue, and yellow that's a primary color triad. And if you look at children's toys, a lot of times you'll see red, blue, and yellow used together. There's a reason for that. It's because again, because it's a triad, they function very well together. They're good partners in making your eye like something. So people will use that. Another triad you're going to find is purple, green, and orange. Again, those, those three colors work very well together. So it's not uncommon to see them used. And if you start looking at packaging, you're going to see some of these color combinations. Another set of colors that are very commonly used are analogous colors. Analogous colors are colors which are right next to each other on the color wheel. So if you were saying yellow, orange, red, or red, purple, blue, or blue, green, yellow, any of those color combinations, when you see a few that are right next to each other, they work well together. So it's a great idea to use one base color and use some analogous colors maybe for highlighting or to brighten something up, a picture. So those are very useful. The thing you have to watch out for with analogous colors is that sometimes because they're all next to each other on a color wheel, um, they might not give quite as much interest to whatever you're working on, say a butterfly. It'll still be beautiful because those analogous colors work well together, but if you want to give it a little more of a pop on the face, what you can do is take some analogous colors and make the butterfly and then choose a complementary color, which is right across from your analogous choice on the color wheel for adding a little bit of interest. So say you're doing a butterfly with violet, blue, and greens, then you can go across here and find some orange. And after these colors have dried, because if you put wet on wet, it's probably going to bleed through, you can highlight it and add some orange spots to it, and it will just cause it to jump off the face. So when you're looking at face painting designs by other face painters, again, the things that you really like and that you're really drawn to, look at their color choices, because you're going to see some of these principles being used. Sometimes people use them intuitively, but if you know what they are, then you can make very safe choices while you're on the job. So I have one last word of caution because that's a very basic look at color theory, but I tell my students this when I'm teaching painting. Um, you have to be a little bit careful when you're mixing colors that are across the color wheel. You will get brown. If you mix a triad, you will get brown. So usually that's not a color that you want. If we want brown, we usually buy brown color for face paint. So um, if you had to mix it, you could mix it that way, but the balance is tricky unless you're really used to mixing colors. So be careful when you're using complementary colors next to each other, because where they overlap, you are going to get brown. So a lot of times it's really a good idea to delineate between those colors. Make sure they're very dry before you use them next to each other. You know, make sure the first color is dry, then use the next one next to it. Um, paint the light colors first and then come in with the darker or more intense colors afterwards. It's another thing that you can do to avoid 
unnecessary or unwanted mixing between your colors and put black between them or white between them so that there is a, a delineation, a line between them so that they don't accidentally mix. So thanks for stopping by today for our brief lesson in color theory and if you have a color wheel it's going to help you spend some time looking at it take time to look at other artists work and study it and ask yourself why does it why does your eye like that where where is your eye going in that piece and how do the colors affect how you feel about it so take some time to think about color and then you'll be able to make better choices when you're on the job if you enjoyed today's video please click subscribe so that you can see other videos by facepaint.com and if you have a comment please leave it below thanks so much bye bye